Today, with us, we have a famous South Carolinian, Miss Sarah Moore Grimke. Hello. Now, Miss Sarah, I have some questions for you today. So, how did you feel when you left your home? Well, I was scared at first. I had never left home before, but I was ready for a change. I did not agree with my family's belief, and I wanted to get away for a while. Ah, uh, I see. So, when you moved to Philadelphia, how did your life change? At first, I was all alone. I left all my friends and family. Then, I met a group of people called Quakers, and they accepted my beliefs against slavery. Then, I became a Quaker, too, and my life was totally changed. Wow. Okay, so what if you did not stand against slavery? Would you have stood for something else? In my time in Philadelphia, I also stood for women's rights. I believe that men and women should be equal. So that is something I would have stood for. Amazing. Okay, so while you were in Philadelphia and moving there, what relationships did you lose along the way? Well, the relationship with my father was really strained. When I lived at home, I tried to teach her slaves how to read, and he was very disappointed in me, and he told me they didn't deserve to learn. So that was a really hard thing for me to have to get over, the relationship with my father. I bet. So why do you think people disagreed with your beliefs? I think it's because it's all they know. They were raised around slavery, so they don't think it's wrong, and they don't understand how cool slavery can be. I agree. Well, today we have had a famous South Carolinian, Sarah Moore Grimke. Thank you for being on today. And welcome back. So today we're talking to another famous South Carolinian. This is Miss Mary Bethune. Say hello, Mary. Hi. So, Miss Bethune, a couple of questions for you. How did it feel to make your own school for African Americans? Well, I felt scared because it was a brand new experience, but I knew that what I was doing was very important and it was going to be a changing point for the African American women. Very interesting. So how did you feel when you became the director of Negro Affairs for the, in, for the National Youth Administration? I was very honored and appreciative. It was important for me to step up and be the president so that I could show that I am a leader that what I have to say matters. Wow, I thought this was interesting. What was it like to be friends with President Roosevelt? Oh, it was a great experience. They were very great people, and Edith was an amazing woman. She was a great friend of mine and treated me equally and helped me to be more confident in what I did in my life and in politics. That is so fascinating. Why did you decide to get involved in politics? I decided that I needed to make my stance and get my voice out to the people so that others would know that even though I am an African-American woman, it did not mean that I did not have good things to say. I wanted my opinion and thoughts to be heard by everyone. Mm, I agree. So, if you could do anything else in your life, what would you have done differently? I would have probably become a teacher earlier in life. I originally started out as a missionary but was not able to be sponsored by a church. So I became a teacher. It was a great decision, and I would have started earlier if I had known that it would have changed my life for the better. Well, I have enjoyed this interview, Miss Mary Bethune. So thank you for coming and talking to us today. Thank you for your time.